Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wolfstalker25, and today I got a brand new action figure review for you guys on the Hammond Collection Jurassic Park Velociraptor. Uh, these guys are pretty cool. They are in the 3 and 3 quarter inch scale. They are replacing the recently gone extinct Amber Collection, which was the 6 inch line of figures for the Jurassic World and Park line of dinosaurs and everything like that. And as a lover of dinosaurs and avid player and lover of arc survival evolved um i really wanted a nice set of dinosaurs and scale with action figures you know for dioramas poses everything like that i would love it if arc developed an action figure line at least for like the survivor character and like the flak armor or something like that but you know that's something else uh but you know these velociraptors are very awesome it is basically 100 percent the same Velociraptor from the Am Amber Collection, except now shrunken down. It's got all the same articulation. I think um, it's just smaller. And uh, I really, I really dig these guys. I really like them. Um, I am going to review all the uh, figures in the uh, Jurassic Park world line that come out that are dinosaurs at least i might not buy and review all the humans i might not review any of the humans uh maybe you'll do one but at the raptor really quick with his head up in the air standing almost upright he's about five inches tall the raptor length when his head um is down and at like when he's at like almost fully straightened out uh he is about from the tip of his nose to the back of his tail. He's about like eight inches long, so four inches shorter than the rat or than the parasaur and the baryonyx. Um, you know, and at, at like this height as well, he's like about two and a half inches tall, top of the head, like three inches tall. So there you go. I mean, pretty good. I mean, I, I really like this. I got three of these guys. They are about like twelve ninety nine to thirteen ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine, somewhere in there. I think they're twelve bucks. I can't remember, um, but I really like these guys. Uh, just one thing to note: I don't know if it's just like the rubber here, or if there's like the metal sticking through for the bendy wire. But there are points where it gets a little rough, and it feels like almost metal that you're getting snagged on. But I think it's just like a hard spot on the rubber of the creature itself. So, paint application wise, after we've done the the um, height there. This is from Jurassic Park, the first movie. Uh, you get a nice dark gray um, on the back, dark grayish brown. It's like a dark gray fully. You get a nice, like, almost like greeny brown. Uh, I'm gonna call it like, it's almost like, it's almost like crap green. Um, it's, it's like dog crap green. Uh, but <laughs> it's uh, it's pretty cool. Like it's a pretty cool color scheme for the raptor here. It's the same that the amber collection one was in, uh, that one of the amber collection ones was in. Um, so, uh, but you get the nice brown there. It's like more of a tan. It's like the same green, but it, like kind of lightens up down at the foot. You get a, like a light tan under the jaw um, for the raptor. Uh, a nice like green eye there, with yet again the same like snake. I slit as the uh, as the um, baryonyx. Uh, the teeth do have a nice little color in there. There's like a light tan color, and then you get like the pinkish color inside the tongue and mouth. Uh, it's in the bottom and top as well, and the back. Um, very nice. The claws on both the feet and the hands are uh, black, and I think that's it color wise no other paint apps on it but pretty good paint apps overall like this is for a three and three quarter inch like 13 dollar figure this is very detailed and highly articulated i really love this figure so much i want to get at least one more i might even get three more and have somewhere between four and six but i really love these raptors um so articulation wise what can they do uh the neck could look like forward and back like this so uh, the head could look that far down uh, without the neck going up it could like look like that far up so the head's got a little bit of movement um, you could get them looking up that that much down that much as you can see in the background got it there um, the head does have a swivel uh, it's got a little bit of a tilt here where you could get like a cool side to side um, so there you go jaw opens that much no back jaw movement like the baryonyx we can move the top jaw at all um 
the tail uh, is the same thing, like all of them. There's a little ball with joint in there, put into the rubber like insert for the tail, so it could go down that much, up, down and up that much, uh, side to side. You obviously could do a full 360, turn the whole thing around. Yet again, bendy wire in the tail. As you can see, I've done a slight little bend in here, but you could bend it a lot. Um, the arms could go out that much. This one's a little stuck because of the, yet again, the grooves and the style of it. Um, there is an elbow joint, which could get you that far out and that far closed. It does have a swivel. It's got a hinge again. Arms are a little twiggy though for the Raptor, so you gotta be a little careful. You don't want to break it. Uh, legs and hips have a little bit of a like that butterfly again, um, where they could kind of go out a little bit and uh, for like to the sides, um, forward that far, uh, back that much. You could get like a cool like that's like a running pose right there almost for like some of the Raptors. Um, you got the knee that goes that far forward, that far back, and then you got the ankle that goes that far back, that far forward. Uh, so there, and there's a swivel at this point. There's a little bit of a pivot right down here. So you get a lot of nice articulation on these guys, especially for only the $13 price point. Like that's kind of crazy what you could do with these guys. Um, I, I really, really love these Raptors. Uh, now the Raptors do have a little bit weird thing. It does almost look like the one hip, it kind of like pops out a little bit more than the other. Um, there's really nothing I could do about that. I've tried. So it might just be a design on how it is. Maybe one of the legs is just a little bit more inserted than the other. But uh, either way, pretty cool figure. I really like it. Really quick, I'm gonna pull up the Amber Collection Raptor. We're gonna do a little bit of a comparison um, to this one. So this one, uh, it didn't have like the stripes exactly as you can see let me see if I could get this up a little bit and we'll do a little bit of an angle uh, but yeah as you can see here this one has more defined dark colors on the legs um, on the tail especially uh, on the uh, back and on the head this has that but it's like almost just like throughout the whole thing and it's not as dark grayish black it's more of like the green color and they have like the tan color throughout it so it's almost similar but honestly i like the detail and paintwork on the the hammond collection than the amber collection the mouth and teeth are the same the only difference is is the teeth you could see like the gums on the bottom of the amber whereas the hammond you can't um that's always something you could probably paint yourself i don't think it's that big of a deal uh, but you know it is what it is one other thing is the amber collection had a wrist joint the Hammond do not the amber also had a joint right here at like the kind of like back part of this like knee area uh, whereas there's not one here the, everything else is the exact same though um, so this is literally just the six inch figure shrunken down with two points of articulation missing which honestly like this one I wish we kind of had this one here uh, at this point, but you don't really need it. I, I would I have liked it, yes, but do I need it? No. Um, I don't think the claws. Oh, the claws had articulation on these. There's no articulation on the claws. That's one thing I guess you could ask for, but you know, it is what it is. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Three and three quarter inch. You can't get everything out of these figures. Uh, could they try? Yeah, but did they give us enough? Yes. Um, so there you go. There's your size comparison. Well, not I guess size comparison and look at the comparison there uh, Really quick. Here's the baryonyx next to uh, your raptors right here. Let me get this back straightened up And we'll drop it down. So there's your raptor comparison with the baryonyx And if you haven't watched either of the other two reviews I do recommend them because you could get my thoughts and opinions on them there for all the dinosaurs uh, but here is the Parasaur as well. So the Parasaur is just a bit taller, like in the back than the Baryonyx. Um, the heads are very similar in height, but the Raptor is a lot shorter than both. So there you go. There's your look at the other two Hammond Collection dinosaurs that have been released so far. They do have a T-Rex coming. I do have it pre-ordered. I'm very excited for it. They have a Triceratops. I think I have that pre-ordered. And then they have like the Ceratosaurus, Gallimimus, Stilophosaurus. There's a lot coming. So pretty cool. Um, Here's the raptor next to the uh, 
three and three quarter inch Buzz Lightyear figure from the new Lightyear movie. Very excited for the movie, actually. Pretty decent figure. Could be a little bit better. Um, here's a Joy Toy Mech Pilot. I don't remember what Mech the name is from. Um, here's a Stormtrooper. Uh, so there you go, Stormtrooper uh, from the Star Wars uh, Vintage Collection. And then here's an old clone from the Vintage Collection for probably when like Episode 3 came out, or Episode 2. Um, probably Episode 3. Here is a Master Chief from the uh, World of Halo 3 and 3 quarter inch line. And then, um, let me put Buzz back here out of the way, and then we'll get the Arbiter in here too, just so you can see. Arbiter is a little hunched. He probably could be a little bit taller, but there's your look at all these different three and three quarter inch lines together. I want to get one of the Joy Toy Warhammer figures at some point. So when I do the Warhammer figure review in the future, whenever I decide to get one, they're kind of expensive. They're like thirty five to like eighty dollars for a figure. They're like a hundred and fifty on Big Bad Toy Store for like a four pack. So it's a lot of money for like a four inch figure, but um. I will bring in some of the dinosaurs if I ever review some of those, so you can see like the heights there. But uh, yeah, that's that's gonna do it. Um, hopefully, you found this review helpful. Uh, I think these Jurassic World or Jura Hammond collection dinosaurs work really well with a lot of different lines. Um, I think all those lines could work. Granted, the Joy Toy mech figures, like the pilots, they range, so they're not all just like the same height as this little guy. Because this little guy, like, height-wise for him, um, we'll do a little bit of a check. He's, like, barely above, th he's, like, three and, th three and a quarter inch tall. Like, I mean, I guess you could say that's, like, human proportions with maybe a raptor, depending on what you want to say. But then, like, you know, look at the stormtrooper. He's, like, way taller. I mean, he's, he's about a little over, like, three, uh, almost four inches bit closer to that four inch mark so there's at least like a quarter of an inch size in these guys comparison wise but um yeah no i i think these guys work i really like them uh like i said uh raptors in my opinion i want to get somewhere between at least one more and have four or i want to have somewhere between the, like four to six mark you can maybe go eight i think parasaurs personally somewhere between at least two but somewhere between like four to eight raptors somewhere between four to six uh and the baryonics maybe two I think that'd be a good like count if you wanted to have like a nice little park. But then again, when all these dinosaurs are just out and said and done, um, there's a lot, and especially if you have the other Jurassic Park World dinosaurs that are in like the more action art, like not as much articulation. They have like the play features. Um, you can make a pretty crazy looking park with all those together, because some of those look pretty good too. So yeah, uh, that's gonna do it today. Like I said. Let me know in the comments below. Did you pick any of these up? How many Raptors would you get for your little three and three quarter inch pack? Let me know all that stuff down there. If you did enjoy their video, I would always appreciate a like as well as a subscribe. If you're new and haven't done so, it does help out the channel a lot. I do greatly appreciate it. I try to do at least a video or two or three a week. Um, usually it's somewhere between a schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday or Tuesday, Thursday or Thursday, Friday or Wednesday, Friday. Something like that is what I usually try to do. Um, so if you do enjoy any of my content, would always appreciate a like on all of it and uh, a subscribe. It does help out a lot. And yet again, I greatly appreciate it. If you want to see these size comparisons next to anything else, let me know in the comments. I will post pictures like that on Twitter. So go follow me over there where I can keep you guys up to date with anything new coming out, anything that I've got, and then, like you know, extra photos like that. But other than that, that's going to do it for me today. Uh, I will catch you all in the next one. So have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.